Hello and welcome. How's everyone doing? As you can see, fall just started. The leaves are really nice looking. They are yellow and some other colors, but that's so recent because a week ago, everything was still green. Uh, a few days ago, it got really, really cold around zero degrees Celsius or maybe minus one. That's why all the trees are getting colored. Fall started in late October. So today I'm gonna show you what's in my camera bag. So the first and the main subject is the DSLR. That's the 750D with the kit lens. And even if it's a few years old, it's still an excellent camera to shoot with. So here we have it. And then here you have the rest of my gear. I'm gonna show you it. And here you have the flash. It's the Speedlight YN685 from Youngnu, and it's as good as a $600 flash by Canon. But it's way, way cheaper, and it works flawlessly. Here you may be recognized this lens. It's the lens from the video called uh, Vintage Lens on a modern DSLR. I'm gonna link this one on the top. So if you want to check it out. Here you have step up rings. Those things are really, really useful because if you want to buy some really nice filters, you can buy the largest one for your lenses and then just screw that onto your lens and adapt it. And then you can get yourself some really, really nice uh, filters like this polarizer from Oya because you will not believe how frustrating it is to uh, have to deal with cheap stuff that breaks or have some weird color shift in it and then the pictures look weird. And here you have the ND filters and that's the same. I bought those because then they're really neutral, not with some color shift in it and then it looks weird. Yes, they are pretty costly, but if you get some step-up rings, you will only have to buy them once. And here, that's the receiver for the flash. And it has a really nice range and it works really, really well because you can put this one into a lamp or it's something other like on a tripod, in a softbox or whatever. And then you can remotely use the flash. And here, you have my phone holder so I can mount my phone onto a tripod and if you buy some electronics don't throw away the silica gel because just throw it in your camera bag so it keeps away humidity because gear does not like humidity and here you have the camera bag but I don't know if I can recommend it because a camera bag should be water resistant but this one isn't I got a bad surprise when I went to Poland. I opened it and some of my gear was wet, but glad enough, my camera was okay. So I don't know if I can recommend this uh, KNF concept backpack I bought off Amazon. So yes, I would say if you buy cheap stuff, you're going to be disappointed. That's just what I said with the uh, ND or the polarizers. Here's how it looks like when everything is in the bag. As you can see, it has some uh, compartments you can move your stuff. Like you can remove that and then uh, you get more space, for example, to put the flash in. And here's how it uh, looks like when everything is in the bag. There's the receiver, the filters, the old lens, the DSLR, some more filters and the flash. And that's how it looks like in the bag and then I can close it with a zipper. I hope you like this little video here on my channel and see you in the next one.